discussion about capacitors. So we got a bank here of uh, this is 12 capacitor banks, um, you know, six capacitors in series, capable of being charged up to 16.2 volts. But what I'm showing here today is that that's the max charge you should give them. That doesn't mean they're 16 volts. So we're going to go ahead and kick on the electrical system and show you the voltage they are currently at. And this is the maximum that I'm going to charge them up to. 15.2, um, 15.3. It's just where they are. Um, you don't. So everybody's saying, well, these are really 14 volt cells or really 16 volt cells. They're not. You're wrong. Um, they are. It's the same voltage it would be if I had batteries. Um, so. Uh, doesn't matter that I have capacitors, batteries, whatever. What does matter is whenever I shut the car off, what the voltage is. Um, and we're going to get to that in a minute. But what I wanted to do was go ahead and turn it up and show you what my voltage is um, with the alternator charging the caps. Now, we're, we don't have idles or the rev set. We're just playing at idle. I think 600 engine RPM, so my alternator really doesn't put out a lot here. So... Um, we're just going to kind of turn it up, ease in, and see what our voltage is. Get this off here. Alright, that was full tilt. What did we get to? 14.6. Alright, we got all the way down to 14.6, which... That's very good on these amps. And they're already back to 15. Yeah, we'll watch them recharge. Now that really hit those caps hard. And we were drawing lots of current right there. You might not have heard that, but that's two Crossfire 8Ks. And they're still set up for the way I burped at World Finals. So they're drawing a lot of current. Um, so the, those caps, while they may have held the voltage up, they were depleted. <laughs> uh, you know, they'll, and that's that's really why we use caps, honestly. The difference is that I want to show you is that they have no reserve. I mean, it, if you do the math and you convert um, ferrets to amp hours, you find out that it takes about 20 banks of these caps that I'm using to equal a single 100 amp hour battery. I've got 12, so I'm nowhere near that. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you that. I'm gonna shut the engine off, and I can do that with my remote start here. Already back to voltage. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut it off. All right, engine's off, watch the voltage. That's just the meter um, rounding up and down, up and down. The voltage is not fluctuating. That's the thing about these capacitors is they don't rebound. Okay, so if I go ahead and turn the if I go ahead and give it a burp. They don't, they don't rebound. So with a battery, if you went down to the battery's voltage, it might drop to, you know, 12 volts. And then after you shut everything off, it might climb back up to 12.6. That doesn't mean that the battery is recharging itself. It just means due to the chemistry inside of the battery, it kind of floats around and does weird stuff. So with these, um, I just built a really big bank and took a lot of the series resistance out of it. This is all 4 out wiring and everything. So I have a more robust system than most people. But once they drop, they drop. They don't come back like a battery. So we don't have a lot of reserve. Um, I happen to have more than most people, uh, but we're just showing you right now. And I'm just gonna I'm gonna go ahead and kind of shut everything off, other than the amps. And so you can just watch the idle current drag them down, and it does it pretty quickly. Um, it really, um, it's about like 30 seconds per tenth of a volt with my bank. And this bank is powering the car. It'll start the engine and everything. In fact, if we drag it down too far, we're not going to be able to get home from where we are. <laughs> so I have to be kind of careful with this video. But just showing you, uh, like with batteries, what you got to do, a battery does not like to 
discharge as much as these caps do. These caps don't have any kind of reserve like a battery does. So they like to dump as much current up front as possible. They're not good at it over a prolonged period of time. That's why they're doing this so well. With batteries, they really don't like to do a prolong or a, a burst draw. They like to do a more prolonged, slow draw over a period of time. So that's why the more batteries you add to your bank, the easier it is on each individual battery, and the better everything performs. With these, um, it really, you know, you you, you really just it, they're fast burst caps. They're good for us us burping. They're not good for car off. They're not good for any. So what I'm trying to show you is don't compare batteries and capacitors because you can't say that these are like a 14 volt cell. You can't say that they're anything like a battery. They're completely different in every way. And they needed to be treated the same, which is why in all these organizations, everybody's debating, well, should we allow you know, caps in this class? Should we allow caps in that class? And I can't tell you 100% what to do there, but what I can tell you for the organization I compete in, um, my opinion on that is th the only way to do it is with a, a system voltage limit. And some classes actually already have that. But if you say that this is the same as a 14 volt battery, so you class it accordingly, well, that's not the case. Because depending on how many banks you have, uh, it's not going to perform that way at all. Uh, in fact, it'll perform more like a motorcycle 12 volt battery if you have just a few banks. So, I was trying to show here that with alternator on, it makes a pretty big difference. I don't get almost any sort of discernible drop. With it off, you could see every every burp. It really, you know, it really tapered off and didn't come back. With the with the alternator on, it was charging me. Um, you know, you had to get into it a couple hundred amps before the caps ever started to discharge. We got down to what, 14.6? And then I think the other ones we dropped off more than that, and then we stayed down. I mean, we're, we're down to 13.5 now with just the amps. And I've been trying to stall and, and baffling you with BS for what, three minutes now? Four minutes now? So much longer and we're not going to be able to get home so I'm going to stop